Hi guys and welcome back to the channel today. I'm Lee and this is a Renault 5 GT turbo cylinder head. So as you can see, whether you've seen it, one of these before, they're quite thin. Um, these things are fairly renowned for giving head gasket issues at the best of times. Um, whether that's anything to do with the thickness of the cylinder head or obviously because they're turbocharged, you know, back in the day people used to up the boost and get the fueling wrong and all that, all that jazz. I'm not too sure on that, but yeah, they were pretty renowned for the, uh, for the head gasket issues. Now this head belongs to Carlos and whether you can see, it's been fairly ported. Um, and what he wants to do with it now is put big valves in it. So I'm going to show you today how we, how we go about putting valves and seats in it to get the maximum valve we can put in here and just the sort of routine we go to work this out. So basically, so what we've done in the past is we have modified our own valves um, or some valves out of other things to, to be able to achieve what we want to achieve without going and buying specific valves. Not always are specific valves manufactured by you know, aftermarket companies are available for, for, for whatever we do. So we've had to modify valves out of other engines. Now, some guys that seems to enjoy commenting on our videos about either our terminology or our processes or health and safety or this, that, the other, they're going to have an absolute field day here with this one. Just before I start, you know, we have done this plenty of times in the past. It's worked. We've had no comebacks. So, like I've said before, um, whatever whatever works or whatever you can do that does work, then that's absolutely fine by us. Um, so, what we've done in the past is we've looked in our catalogue and found bigger valves, longer valves. We've customised them so we can customise the head. Uh, we can customise the length of the valve. To the to the length we want and we've actually put our own collet grooves in there um, and that is exactly what we're going to do with this what we do and this is the process how we go to work it out we take two valves the guides in this are pretty good we take two original valves what we've got here and we put them in the guides first of all we measure the exhaust which is near enough 28.9 the inlet is 34 so what i always do is sort of have the valves sticking out now even with brand new guides you might not get any movement but over time i mean these have got a little bit of movement although they are new guides some new guides are like that you've got a bit of movement um but over time guides will wear so and you get a bit of play so what i normally do is have the valves sticking out further than what the travel's going to be on the camshaft and I just sort of squeeze them in and so we've got the the smallest distance and we've got 3.5 millimeters so I take our trusty calculator we have 3.5 millimeters of gap in the middle now I want to end up we want to go slightly bigger on the inlet than we are going to be on the exhaust but we want to leave about a millimeter in between these two valves eventually so there is actually a, re a sort of tried and tested valve size that they use with these Renault 5s and they normally go from 28.9 to 31 on the exhaust so that is what we're going to use 31 so we're going 31 on the exhaust, which is 2.1 millimetres bigger, um, which will be 1.05 millimetres bigger on either side of the valves. So we take our 3.5 mil, which is the gap, minus 1.05 millimetres, and with that 31 mil valve in there, that's going to leave us 2.45 millimetres left on the for the inlet so if we take away one millimeter because that's the gap we want to end up with there 
that leaves us 1.45. So if we times that by two, that's 2.9. So we can actually go 2.9 millimeters bigger on this inlet valve and, and end up with a one millimeter gap. So we've got 34, 34 millimeters, and that will basically make it so we can go 36.9 millimeters on the inlet and still end up with a one mil gap. So I think that's what we're gonna do. I wanted to go very slightly bigger on the inlet because it will give us a bit more torque. Uh, now this is, I know some of you guys are gonna comment saying I'm talking rubbish like you normally do, but this has been tried and tested. Um, I did a, for example, I did a G40 Polo supercharged and that's a little 1.3, eight valve. I put, I actually ended up using Volvo valves, same sort of ratio here, so I went very slightly bigger on the inlet than I went bigger on the exhaust. And we ended up with, I think it was 195 horsepower and about 235 foot pound of torque. Whereas a lot of the tuned G40s apparently don't really fetch any more than about 200 foot pound of torque. So it was tried and tested and it did work. Um, so that's what we're sort of aiming for here with this Renault. So that's, we've worked out now that we, we can go 36.9 on the inlet and 31 mil on the exhaust. So, firstly, what I wanna do is find a valve seat that is about that size. You wanna go probably very slightly bigger. A lot of the time we've actually ended up butting the two valve seats up together and it's absolutely fine, that is. Um, but with these, if we go to the actual size of the valve head, we're gonna end up with almost a millimeter of aluminium left in the middle. Now, as you can see, there is sort of heat crack here. Um, so what I will probably try and do is get rid of that and I will basically butt them up near as damn it, right up together, the two valve seat inserts. Now this is the Gosnays, Gosnays engineering valve seat insert chart. This is where we buy most of our valve seat inserts when we do unleaded conversions. They're all the harder material ones. Um, so all these valves that are, these valve seat inserts that I'm about to buy are all good for inle unleaded. They're all the, the hardened valve seats. So we've got here all the sizes, whether you can see that we've got all the, this is the outside sizes. And this is the, the depth of the inserts and this will be the internal of the inserts. Yeah? So what I'm looking for is a 37 mil outside and also you wanna be checking the depth of the existing insert because you certainly don't wanna be buying an insert that is any shallower than the one that's already in it. So we have a look at that. That is nine millimeters that so if we have a look there we have an insert 37 outside 28 internal near as damn it and nine millimeters on the depth and that is a c1457-e2 so we're going to see if they've got four of them if they have we're going to order them then for the exhaust so on the exhaust we want we can always trim the outside down, you see, to get it the actual, so probably better off going very slightly bigger than than um, smaller. So if I go for a near as damn it sort of 32 mil external, um, we've got on the depth, we wanna go very slightly deeper. You see that insert there on the exhaust is slightly pocketed from the aluminium, but we wanna bring this a little bit taller. So if we go measure that from the, from the high bit of the aluminium there down to the bottom of the insert, we've got, get it on eight millimeters. Okay, so what we do, we scroll down and find 32 mil outsides. If we go up, up, up. So, got 31.93. I mean that, one of these would do it, so. This one here, it's got 
on the outside, we've got 19 on the inside, fine, and 11 mil depth. Well, that would give us, that would mean it would obviously sit nice and proud, which is fine. We can trim that down to get the height of the insert we want. So I'm going to ring these guys up first thing in the morning and see whether they've got these. Um, and that would be perfect. Now what we want to do is find some valves. What we want to do is measure the length of these existing valves. So there is the length of the original exhaust, 88.7. And the inlet, inlet is 90.68. Seen as I'm going to be modifying these, the valves need to end up at the back the same height as they are originally. Now, on this one, the inlet and exhaust are the same heights. So what we do is we measure the depth from the head, not the guide, from down the head to the top. And we will we'll buy valves or find valves that are longer so we can trim them off, get the correct height of the valve, and then put our collet grooves in the height that we need them or what they were originally. So thanks ever so much for watching guys. Stay tuned for part two tomorrow where we're going to be showing you, providing they got the bits, us fitting the bigger inserts and the bigger valves. But until then, thanks ever so much. Comment down below, hit that subscribe button and we'll see you in another one. Cheers guys.